by eight scale and I'm back to show you how to make this floral um, butterfly card. It's um, a Z fold card, one of the good old favourites that I do. And um, today we've got a, a floral pattern with a, a butterfly on it um, and also a little gift tag at the, at the top here with a ribbon on. So I'll show you how to do this. It's very simple, very easy to make and I hope you enjoy making it. So you need to start off um, with a, a card which is folded. The size of the card today that I'm using is five and a half inches by five and a half inches. And we also need some fancy card to create the, the floral background. So I've got this nice pink and green flowers here and we need a piece slightly smaller to fit on the, the inside there and that's five inches by five inches and then we need an oblong piece which is going to sit on the front of the card just here and that is five inches by two inches. I have a couple of, of gift tags here which we have green that coordinates with the car and the card and the flower that coordinates with the uh, the background here and we also have um, a lacy butterfly I don't know if you can see it there there we go and some green ribbon so let's get started so first of all we're going to make the Z fold and if you've followed me before you will know that I do a lot of Z fold cards so you take your top piece of the card and we're going to fold it back towards the fold of the card like that to create another fold and just get your your folding bone or a tape um, a, a ruler will do and just go down your edge so that it creates a nice, crisp, clean edge on your card, like that. So that's created the Z, just like that. I don't know if you can see that there. Now we're going to decorate, which is very simple. So we'll get the, the square piece of card and on the back, we're just going to stick some double-sided tape along the edges you can put it on all four edges edges or just on two of the edges doesn't really matter it's pretty sticky stuff is this uh, double-sided tape and then we're going to stick it onto the inside of the square piece of card so we're going to stick it so that it's central leaving about the same all the way around if you can to make a frame so you can see it's made a nice frame around the, the back piece of the card there on the inside now we can decorate the front piece of the uh, the oblong so we're going to try and match up with the the edges here and on this one, you might only need one piece of uh, sticky tape, double-sided tape down the, the back, just like that. And that was lucky, just the right size. I judged that really well. And then looking at your flower design, try and get the flowers the same sort of way uh, as, as they, so that it, it's like pattern matching, like wallpapering, and match the, the edge up across here and the edge at the bottom and then just stick it down so it's pretty well matched there with you've got your, your same distance for your frame around around the outside so that's that's your card bit decorated there with the fancy card now the next thing to do is to stick the butterfly on so we just need some double-sided tape on the, uh, the 
the middle bit, the body bit of the butterfly on the on the back. So we'll stick a bit of tape on there. Trim off any excess at the bottom. Be careful not to snip your butterfly though. And then you can take the, the backing off. If you press it down pretty hard onto the, um, the butterfly, then it, you get it off easier. And we'll stick the butterfly right in the centre on the edge there. So that it looks like it is sort of flying when you open the card like that. Okay. Now then, to put the gift tag in the top here, you need a little hole punch. And you're just going to punch a hole in the, in the top of the card here. Make a little hole. Just like that. Can you see that there? And then we're going to take the gift, gift tags and they've already got the holes punched in. Um, these were from um, most probably a Sizzix, Sizzix die. I use lots of Sizzix dies. Um, yeah, because I like them, really. And I have a Sizzix machine and I also have a Gemini machine. And it, it cuts both of the dies. So, yeah. Now, what I'm going to do with this, as you can see, I've got a bow on the outside of this one. So, we're going to thread from, from the back. So, so that we can thread easy, if you sort of fold it over to make it quite small, so you've got a nice tight end there. And then go through the back of both of the, um, of the holes of the tags. Do that again. It's quite fiddly. And um, when your fingers don't work, it is quite difficult. And then just pull it through like that. You could put some sellotape on the ends and just um, and wind it round and that might make it easier to get, get through. So we don't want to pull the ribbon all the way through. We, we need to keep some ribbon at the back. And so you've got the loop at the back there. Can you see that? That's the loop. And I've got the two pieces at the front so that I can tie the bow. So I'm going to tie a little knot first. And then I'm going to tie a little bow. And I've got sticky tape stuck on my finger. Get that off because I can't tie the bow. It's sticking to my finger. So it is fiddly. Keeps your fingers moving. And then we can move it around just so that we get the ball nice and small. We don't want one too big. Like that. And then you can snip the excess length off. Sticky tape on there as well. The joy of card making. Sticky tape everywhere. And glue. So we'll just snip, snip that off. So we've got the little bow there and we've just tidied that up. Now then you can pull this loop. You can thread that. So we've got the, the tag and we've got this long piece of ribbon still left. So we're going to just thread that <coughs> through the hole on the card. So that the tag now sits on the card nicely like that. And we've left with this at the back. Now you can either just tie a knot um, or you can tie another bow. On this one here, I've just tied a little knot. So just a double knot there. Just so that the tag doesn't pull through. So we can snip that and then just tie a double knot at the back so that it doesn't pull through and the tag doesn't come off. A 
and if you wanted to you could uh, just put some double sided tape on the um, on the ends so we'll snip that off like that and if you want to make double sure that it's not going to pull through the other side just get a little piece of the tape stick it near the knot on there like that take the backing off so you can see you're just left with a little piece of double-sided tape there and then just stick the ribbon over the double-sided tape like that can you see that so you can hardly see the, the stickiness now but it just stops this from from pulling through so that it doesn't uh, come out the other end and there you have your lovely little butterfly card with a little gift tag just something a little bit special on it something a, bit, a little bit different so you could put happy birthday on there or get well soon or anything really it's just a lovely little card to make so I hope you've enjoyed making um, the Z Fold card and thank you very much for watching. I'll be back soon. Thank you very much. Bye.